I'm going to talk about uh, the different sources of data for quantitative finance. Working in quantitative finance, you will be needing data for variety of purposes and you will need uh, different types of data. For instance, you will be needing uh, market data, you know, historical data on different uh, financial instruments, stocks, options, future and forward. You'll also be needing economic data, like macroeconomic data. Uh, you'll also need uh, corporate data, which is uh, the data uh, on publicly traded companies, right? different publicly traded companies such as uh, IBM, Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Apple. Uh, you might also need alternate data. Nowadays, alternate data is, is becoming very popular in quantity finance. Uh, and what is alternate data? It is uh, data related to satellite images, uh, social media data, um, mobile use data, weather data, right? So such data um, has never been uh, very popular in quantity finance, but more recently, people have started using alternate data even in quantity finance and trading, uh, right? So that data can also be used. And you also might need to use the research data, you know, academic research data, you know, academic research paper, any conclusion drawn uh, based on an academic research paper can also be used for different uh, activities. Um, right? You could also use data from press releases, uh, news events, right? So uh, we'll see the different sources for, uh, you know, these type of data sets. Uh, we'll start with the market data, which is perhaps the most famous type of data you will need uh, if you're working in quantity finance. You will need the historical data for different financial instruments, uh, the linear instruments, non-linear instrument, uh, you know, vanilla instruments or exotic instruments. So for all kinds of, uh, you know, these instruments, you will be needing the historical data <coughs> and you can get the data from variety of sources. Some sources will provide you less data than the others. For instance, the you know the private companies will provide you better data, better quality data compared to the publicly available sources. Right? If you get data free of cost from public sources, that probably won't be that great. Whereas if you're getting from Bloomberg and you know those places which are private, uh, the quality is expected to be better. Uh, but you also have to pay money to them. So for stock data, you know, option and all kinds of these data you can get from uh, New York Stock Exchange, any of these stock exchanges, right? London Stock Exchange, NASDAQ. I think most countries have their own stock exchanges. So from there, you can get, uh, get it. You can get from the website itself. In fact, many, um, many of these, uh, you know, uh, exchanges do have an API also. So you can also uh, use that to get data and you can also get data from market data providers such as Bloomberg and, and Reuters right but you will uh, have to pay money if you're working in in corporation obviously you will have access to that and most corporations most banks most hedge funds do have access to you know these uh, they have subscription to these uh, market data providers but as an individual also you can get right if you're uh, uh, a quant rate or retail quant rate also you can you can you know get access to by paying some money then there are online brokers right there are many online brokers uh, that provide real-time data to their clients uh, there are many financial data api also for example fundle or alpha vantage these are again private companies but you don't have to you know uh, get uh, data more like you get from Bloomberg rather you can use their APIs right for a fee then there are data vendors right there are many independent data vendors such as Morningstar and FactSet they also provide uh, data uh, to different institutions but also to uh, individuals uh, all right and, and obviously for a fee and then we'll talk about how you can get the economic data right uh, for economic data you can always uh, search the government uh, publicly uh, available sources such as government agency right um, so in in the us you have the nber right from there you can you can 
get the data and uh, i think in the us they also have the data dot gov data dot governance right uh, government data there from there also you can get it you can also get data from a federal reserve website right in the us uh, similarly in the uk or other countries you know you can get uh, macroeconomic data from the central bank's website itself in india you can get it from reserve bank of india's website so uh, all the central banks would have you know the latest uh, or even historical macroeconomic uh, data for different macroeconomic indicators you can also get uh, data from international organizations such as imf uh, world bank right so these places um, private companies do provide also like um, the ihs market or oxford economics right um, there are many others many many actually uh, and then there are many economic news providers, right? Financial news broadcasters like Bloomberg um, or, 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 you know, Reuters and all. So they also provide uh, economic and financial data, uh, macroeconomic data. Uh, but the best resources are the government agencies, actually. On, pri on, on microeconomic data, uh, government agencies are, are the best resources and, and most, most of the times it's free of cost also. But you also have economic data APIs, you know, Fred API, World Bank has its own APIs that you can also use. Then, uh, you know, for corporate data, uh, you can directly go to the company's website and get the data. So corporate data means if you want to, you want to get information about the publicly traded companies, you can directly visit their website and uh, get the information from there. That will could that will be very difficult actually. So you can uh, use, uh, yeah, Bloomberg, Reuters, uh, S&P Global, you know, these private companies, they do provide uh, clean data uh, at a cost, but you can also check the SEC filing in the US. Uh, you can check the regulatory authorities such as, you know, the uh, financial authorities. Uh, for most big corporations, you will you will find data in, in um, in the regulatory bodies such as you know the central banks or, or like ECB or FINRA you know these these regulatory bodies media agency like CNBC and Wall Street Journal they may also have data uh, right you can also find data uh, by research agencies such as Moody's and S&P Google from there also you can get the corporate data I think among the all three last three like the market data and uh, the, the macroeconomic data and the corporate data. Corporate data is perhaps the most difficult uh, to get, right? Sports, especially because uh, a lot of that is not, uh, you know, yeah, most of the times you will not, uh, I mean, for retail trader, it is the most difficult for banks and other uh, research firms. I think they do have access to the information. Then you have the alternate data, right? Alternate data, as I've said, hasn't been even used in quantitative finance or any uh, financial research, but more recently people uh, are using alternate data uh, in addition to the more conventional data such as market data, macroeconomic data. So each social media site has its own APIs, be it Twitter, be, be it Facebook or uh, YouTube or Instagram. Uh, yeah, but there are limitations to that because as you may know, um, you know, there were, there were a bit of a misuse of social media. Uh, so now most social media companies have put restriction on what data can be used uh, for different purposes so it's a matter of privacy so because of that uh, social media data is now less accessible compared to let's say five years back but i think things changed after the u.s election of 2016 uh, i think things became uh, stricter over time and and it's it's more it's less accessible now uh, and there are more uh, restrictions in place but there are other sources of alternate data for example web traffic data can be uh, can be received from Google Trend. Uh, credit card transaction data can be received from many uh, private companies which are tracking that, right? In Europe, there are many companies which are providing data related to the credit card transactions, right? Just to know the credit worthiness of these customers, you could also use, you know, this sort of data. Weather data, 
uh, is difficult to get. You can get weather data from the weather agency, but the quality is not that good in my experience. But there are private companies now working on that. Obviously, you have to pay a fee, but uh, the quality of data is better. And you have satellite data. There are also companies that provide uh, satellite data. For instance, if you want to know the cars parked in a, in a given place in somewhere in, 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 in some city, right? A lot of the coin firms now using this sort of uh, analogy to um, find investment opportunities, right? Very unconventional, right? Unlike, uh, you know, quantity finance a couple of decades back, which used to be very mathematical, now it's more um, common sense, but use of all kinds of data, right? Uh, I know a company called G Research in London, you know, uh, they use data like how many, uh, how many uh, coffee mugs are, are sold in London, how many cups of coffee are sold in London, right? How many people are bicycling, right? So these sort of data they are also using in, in uh, quantitative uh, trading. Uh, very interesting, but uh, who is going to have this sort of data, right? So it's for sure you won't get that uh, in government's website or something, right? There are private companies tracking these, uh, you know, these details and uh, creating uh, you know, data sets and they are selling the data sets to trade firms. Um, yeah, satellite data is one such thing. Uh, you can also get it from various companies. Then you have the research data, right? Research data has been in use for a very long time. In fact, uh, most of the quantitative firms, the top end, uh, they all use uh, research data, academic research data. Um, you know, different journals, whether Journal of Finance, Journal of uh, uh, Financial Economics, Econometrica, and, and so on and so forth. They also use research, uh, you know, papers or working papers from various uh, national research companies such as NBER in the US and, and there are many research companies right in Europe and, and elsewhere. Uh, there are also industry partners such as Gartners and Foresters you know that do very uh, industry specific research for example Gartner does research on on the tech industry right so their reports are also used uh, by, by, by companies right. So these are the kinds of data sets you will be needing if you're working in quantity finance and uh, there are varieties of uh, yeah, resources uh, to, be, to be used. Some are free, others are proprietary, so you have to pay a fee. For working with an organization, you will have the subscription to these you know, sources, for example, Bloomberg or Reuters, uh, but otherwise uh, you'll, you'll have to purchase your own subscription, individual subscription. If you're not working for a company, you are, you are a retail trader, you're doing quant research, um, you, you're trading your own money, then you will have to pay uh, money and, and get Bloomberg's subscriptions. But there are also many alternatives to Bloomberg's, uh, less cost.